G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here for another Microsoft Word tutorial. This particular one we're going to focus on editing your documents. So moving things around, we're going to be looking at deleting things and just things of those nature basically, I guess. Now that might seem very similar to what we did before with cut, copy and paste, but there's a few things I didn't show you that are going to quickly enable you to move things around a singular document. The clipboard, the cut, copy and paste can be used to not only move things around one document, but between documents and between whole programs on Microsoft Windows. The concept of a clipboard was basically invented in an operating system so you could use it across programs and not just Microsoft Word. So you could, I copied this picture from my internet browser and I pasted it here inside Microsoft Word. Now, what I mean by editing the document, so I've got all this text, I've created some you know, formatting, you could say, I've got underlines and bolds and I made it a bit bigger. Okay, let's say for example, I don't want any of this. I don't want any of this formatting anymore. I hate it, it's disgusting. I could go through and untick a few things and try to reduce the size. Or, I can simply click on clear formatting. I know that sounds really weird. I'll just quickly do that again. Highlight this with the mouse and click, excuse me, clear all formatting. And it's back to normal. I can do the same thing for this guy here. Highlight it all, clear all formatting. Now let's say, for instance, I don't want to do that. Okay, I stuffed up. I want to bring it all back. Okay, this is where undo comes into play. Okay, up here on your quick access toolbar, if you haven't gotten rid of it, you should have undo, and it'll actually tell you what you're about to undo. So I'm going to undo clear all formatting, and I can do it again. And I could do it again all the way up to the start of when I open my document. That's what's so good about this. And let's say, for instance, whoop, I've gone one step too far. I did want that heading to be cleared. Then you can simply click Redo. And it will perform the action again, okay, in sort of a sequence. Okay, so I can go all the way back to when I started this document. And then I can go all the way forward to when I redid all the things. Okay, so I'd suggest you get to know undo and redo a lot because they're extremely handy and redo is extremely powerful and I'll show you right now why it is. Let's say for instance this word here, I want it bold. Okay, so I can click on bold and then I want this word here to be bolded as well. Now I could easily go up and click bold again and because I just performed a bold, I could redo the bold on a different word. Click on that redo the bold and that actually applies for every single little thing you do in Microsoft Word. If you do a couple of actions and you want to repeat it, you can use the redo or the repeats to keep performing that action again and again and again. If you don't understand that, don't stress. It's just some a really technique that helps you add speeds you up but you don't need to use it. All right. There's the undo and the redo and the clear formatting. Next thing I want to show you is moving text quickly. So let's say, for example, this paragraph right here needs to be moved down underneath my picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click next to my picture, just here. It always appears down the bottom of pictures. Press enter a few times, and I'm going to quickly move it down. Now, I could easily highlight that, cut, click down here, paste. That's pretty quick. Here's a quicker way. Highlight it. While it's selected without the mouse button clicked, I'm going to click and all I'm going to do is hold the mouse button and you can see I've got this weird little cursor going on here. It's got a little grey box around it and I'm going to drag it down to there. Alright, so let me quickly re-show you how to do that. If I cut, click, paste, pretty quick. If I highlight, drag, quicker. How much better was that? All right, and then I can undo to bring it back up the top if I, because I accidentally got a full stop, I'll quickly drag it back down. Okay, so that's just one example of how to do that. Let's say, for example, I want to do that, I want to move it, but I actually want to keep the original. Well, that's essentially a copy and a paste, isn't it? You could go copy, down, paste. Again, got a quick way for you. Highlight the guy, exact same way, the click and the drag, but I want you to hold control while you do it. So on the keyboard, hold the control button while you're doing this, click down the mouse, drag and let go, and then let go of the control button afterwards. And then I can do that 
an infinite amount of times. How easy is that? So much better, isn't it? All right, now the final thing I'm going to quickly show you is just how you're going to be looking to delete some of these things. So the easiest way is by using the good old backspace key. Put your carrot down in a good spot. So I want to get rid of this sentence here, and you just start mashing the backspace key or hold it until you get rid of it. Now that can be dangerous because you can hold it oh, and accidentally go too far, and you're going to have to undo to get that back. Now there's a quick way you can get rid of a whole sentence. On the left hand side, see how my cursor turns into a right hand arrow. So usually it's a, an I or it's a left hand arrow. If it turns to a right hand arrow, you can actually click on a whole line. Press the backspace key, gets rid of the whole line in one shot. Okay. Let's say I want to get rid of the text in a backwards manner. Let's say my cursor is on the left and I want to get rid of it to the right. Well, that's the delete key. Same as the back, backspace key, but instead of going from the right to the left, the delete key goes from the left over to the right. So what I mean by that is my cursor is on the left, start pressing delete, goes to the right, and so forth. Okay, and that's deleting things. Now as for things like pictures, you can do the same sort of thing. We can put the cursor on the left, so it's on the down the bottom. You can press backspace once and it will select it press backspace again, it deletes it. Quicker way of deleting it, you simply click on the photo and you press the delete key. So many times I see people using the cut to delete things. That's not technically deleting. Deleting is by clicking on things and pressing the delete key on the keyboard to remove it entirely. Okay, and there's just a quick, another quick way of deleting objects in your document. Anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next video, we're going to go into a little bit more detail of all the different functions you can use. Like, subscribe, comment down the bottom, please. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.